Okay, so, all right. Uh, my name is Robinson, and I come to you with this live stream on how to access the dark web using uh, Ubuntu or Todd browser or Darknet exploration. This is where you will get to access all websites, those who are legal and those ones that are not legal. But first, this is for education purpose only. And in this case, I've installed Ubuntu Linux operating system in which I'm going to show you how you can go about it. First, you need a browser called Troll Browser, of which on my end I have installed it. And one way to go about it is sudo apt install troll. Then if you have not installed it, then you'll be asked to install it. But in this case, I have installed it. You can be able to see troll is already in the newest version. That's how you go about it. The next thing uh, that you need to have is having one of the versions of Linux already installed for you to perform this thing. Once you have installed Tor Browser, and the importance of Tor Browser, once you open it, is that it bridges the IP address that you're using to another deadbot uh, desktop uh, computer out there. So you cannot be easily be traced using the browser. It comes with its own anonymity and it's encouraged when you're performing something anonymously you use tall browser so in this case let me give you for instance um, the tall browser websites that you can be able to access one of it is called torch search engine troll search engine So, Tor search in the Torch search engine, you'll be able to search it inside the Tor browser. This is where you can access all dark web websites from trafficking and all that investigative uh, files that have been hidden by governments. You will be able to explore and access them privately under this. And also there are forums which you can be able to have, let's say dark web, dark web forums. There are also dark web forums in which you can be able to access using uh, the tall browser or the anonymous browsers. Okay, I'll give my Wi-Fi, I'm trying to fix it in a few. So, but one way to note is first you need this browser called Tor Browser and having installed um, Linux operating system, it can be Debian, Linux itself, or any other Linux version. So you can be able to see here we have sites that recommend you the forums. This is where you interact with other dark web explorers in the dark web or the dark net then there is this engine that was all browser engine that all you can be able to use it you'll search it and have access to those files you can go to touch search engine let me open here so that we have access to its url and you'll come to realize that dark web websites have a specific hidden url that cannot be traced um like now, for instance, for the Torch search engine, this is its URL. It is .onion, .onion browser. So you copy this URL and you paste it in, an, in a new tab, then click search. So you can be able to, uh, to see that this is an anonymous URL. You cannot identify specifically who have hosted this website. It's inside the dark web. And that's how anonymous these search engines are. And it's indexed around 3.2 million pages. You can see how vast that touch search engine under the dark web has access to many pages online. 
So for instance, we can be able to also to access the dark, uh, dark web uh, forums in which you can be able to interact with other hackers. Uh, one of it being, um, and all these things are legal, so don't be lied to. And you can, don't perform anything illegal. So we have Dread Forum, we have Crypto BB, we have Rick Base, all these other people use them to hire hackers. Others use them to help governments in some research of cyber attacks and many more. Just choose your poison. So for instance, for the dark web site, you can be able to access all the dark sites that you wish to have from hiring hackers, um, accessing uh, markets where credit cards are sold you can also be able to find them here so this is how vast the dark web can get you can purchase anything from here but you have to verify it's not guaranteed there are also scammers in the dark web so this is how you can be easily access the dark web and the code the sites and the content in there but first you need the nitty gritties of installing the necessary softwares so that you are anonymously accessing those uh, platforms. So that's all for now. It's a quick one. And for those who, who are pursuing uh, cyber security, these are the areas that you need to know and be in the shoes of the attackers and how they can be able to gain access to some files and thank you even for instance for those people who are in cyber security and would want even to contact the cia for instance the cia has a channel where they have a link for you to send them uh information under dark web anonymously notifying them of any danger grumbling so that's how important the dark web is so thank you and take care and this is for education purpose only. Thank you. See you next time.